You're watching MMA Odds Break. I'm Frank Trigg. This week, we have the pleasure of speaking with Brennan the Irish, Irish Bad Boy Ward. How are you doing, bud? I'm good, man. How you doing, Frank? No complaints. You know, typical, uh, typical hot day here in Vegas still, you know? Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> They're uh, in between. You're in your car right now driving. Where are you driving to? You coming out of practice or you driving to your next practice? No, I'm just leaving practice now. And what, what was your workout like today? Um, like this morning, um, I'll do like a good boxing workout. with My, fa my father is, uh, is uh, one of my boxing coaches, a uh, real good boxing coach. So I'll do a solid boxing workout with my dad. And then I'm going to CrossFit, bang out some good strength and conditioning. And then at night, I'll go to either jujitsu or sparring or wrestling practice or whatever, whatever I feel like doing. Then uh, uh, that's know. that's a day like today. When do you get uh, – is that your typical day every day? Or does it mix up a little bit throughout the week? And how many days a week do you do it? Um, I try to train at least uh, – I'm going to say Monday through Friday. I'll try to train at least two to three times a day. And then like Saturday, I'll do like some good hard sparring. And then, like, I'll go surfing or skateboarding after. And Sunday, I'll just, like, hit the beach and surf and chill. And then Monday, start hit it hard again. So pretty much Monday through uh, Monday through Saturday hard and Sunday just chilling, man. What, uh, when you're chilling, what's your chilling? What do you do? You just surf, surf and skateboard? Is that, your, is that your chilling routine or is there something else you're doing? Nah, I pretty much just surf and skate a lot. And there, uh, do you have, is there a group of guys you, you do that with or is it just kind of on your own? Uh, oh, I got like a core group of dudes that I skate and surf with. Yeah, I got my boys up in Wesley, Rhode Island, and we uh, like if there's waves, we'll surf. If there's not, we'll hit the skate park, and that's pretty much it. Do you do you guys train together for fighting as well, or this, is it a separate group of friends? It's like a separate group of guys. You don't ever have that uh, that mix. Uh, those got those two those two groups don't mix with each other. I mean, it's not that like they don't mix. I, they just happen to be. Just different, like, just like a different group, you know? I don't, it just kind of happened that way. Well, the reason why I'm asking like, is because like, a lot of groups, you know, you have their fight group, and that's all they do is everything they do is with their fight group, whether it's going to the movies, they're going to skating, or they're surfing, or they're hunting, or they're fishing. It's with the same group all the time. They never have that group that's separate from them. Does that separate group that you surf and skateboard with, is that group kind of help you relax from the from the long the long week of work, essentially, and training? Oh, yeah, Absolutely. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, Frank, like, I'm sure, you know, you being, you know, like the former athlete and probably sure current athlete that you are, you know how it is, like when you work like all week, you know, training and, like, you know, and like busting your butt all week long, like on like your days off where you're just chilling, like the last thing you want to talk about is like fighting. Oh, hey, bro, like when's the next fight, man? Like, hey, like what, like, you know, just stuff like that. It's like, it gets me too much. So like my other boys that I chill with, they don't even really watch MMA, you know? I mean, okay. so they just know that I fight, and that's it. And it's like, all right, cool, man. Like, I fight. They're, like, one guy's a roofer, one guy's a framer. Like, the other kid works at, like, a grocery store, you know. Like, I just happen to fight. That's just my job. They got their jobs. We don't talk about work outside of work. We're just chilling at the beach, man. Like, you know, so it's nice to not have to always be talking about it, you know, because, I, you know, like, everyone else in my shoes, like, we, we do it all week long. So when you want your time off from it, you want to just chill. They're, uh, are these guys, they support you, obviously. They're going to watch you fight when you when you fight uh, uh, Perry Philkins? Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, like, a lot of them will be front row, man. They'll be they'll be going out to the fight. Okay. Now, who's going to corner you? Obviously, your dad's one of your boxing coaches, but is he going to be one of your corners as well? No, no. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't corner me. He's just, he, no. Nah. Uh, my corners are my manager. My manager, Jay Jodowin. He's He also helps me out with jiu-jitsu. Um, my, I got a striking coach, um, um, his name's Greg Rebello. He's from the Sitio Tong in Boston. Um, I've been working up there a lot. Um, who else, who else is my corner? Training, training. Uh, and then like, then just another one of our boys. There, uh, is so. that, now who, who's got the mouth? Who's the guy that takes control of everything in the corner? Cause you know, there's a time where in between rounds, you got to have that steady, that steady speech. My, my guess is it's going to be Jay, but am I right? Yeah, is it you, Jay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's next to me right now. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Jay. No, you're not. You're not just saying Jay because he's he's within striking distance. You're, you're saying Jay because he actually is. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> man, he's cool, man. He's like, it's cool, man. He's like my manager and my boy and my training partner, and he's it's 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 definitely a good a definitely good setup with him. Adam. 
to my Beautiful. manager. I mean, we did, we started doing this just for, obviously, like everyone else, just for fun. And I was like, yo, bro, you know, after I was done wrestling in college, or two years ago, I was like, hey, man, I was a pro fight. And he's like, yeah, do it. And we just started doing it, and it's just been cool. All right, Ben, I appreciate you coming on the MMA Ads Breaker. Good luck against Perry Philkins of Bellator 102. I appreciate you taking some time with us, and we'll talk to you soon. No doubt, Frank. Make sure you tune in, man. Thanks, bud. Later.